Hi, this is the Dark Lord Happy Pants, and this is part two of my questions concerning God video. Uh, now, I'm just going to pick up where the last video left off. Again, there's a link in the, dis in the sidebar. Pointed the right way this time. Yes! There is a link in the sidebar for um, the Bible, the site where you can read Bible verses online, and I will include all Bible, Bible verses mentioned in the sidebar. Let's get started. No. If God really is omnipotent, why did he send all of his prophets to one area, to one people in the world? Why couldn't he send more of his messengers? Why couldn't he reveal himself? to every tribe, every nation in the world before Christ came onto the scene. I mean, personally, I think that that would make it things a lot easier salvation-wise. Let's see. Number nine, and just kind of a uh, little side topic that doesn't have to do so much with the Bible as with one popular issue in... Uh, our culture right now, homosexuality. Is homosexuality genetic or a choice? Okay. Now, uh, just curious, if you said it was a choice, then please explain. Uh, why do identical twins have a higher chance of being gay than fraternal twins or adopted siblings? Also, why did the birth order of boys seem to have an effect on their sexual orientation. And if genetics do play a factor in a person's sexual orientation, why would God make homosexuality a sin? Now, for links to, uh, for links to uh, sites where you can get some statistics on that, I'll put links in the sidebar. Please let me know if you have any trouble with the site or if you think that the link is bad uh, or if it's inaccurate, and I'll try to fix it. Thanks. All right. But anyway. <clears throat> All right. Is the Bible the perfect word of God? If so, then why are there so many contradictions that are usually just written off as translation errors? And... Please don't tell me, if you see the mistake and you said, oh, and you see something to the effect of, oh, but those are translation errors. Please, I'm really tired of hearing that excuse. <laughs> I mean, it really is a cop-out. I mean, you know, if it was translation errors, then why haven't they fixed it by now? <sighs> All right. Number 11, this kind of has to do with science. If we didn't evolve from apes, then why is our skeletal structure and DNA so similar to theirs? Number 12. Is God subject to his own laws, such as, do not murder? If so, why did he kill all the firstborn Egyptian children for the Pharaoh's crime? And if he doesn't follow his own laws, then how can he, consi how can he be considered sinless and perfect? And... Well, some verses uh, for this would basically be Exodus 20:13. That's basically just the commandment, you shall not murder. Proverbs 6:16 6, to 19 basically says that um, one thing that is detestable to God is a person who sheds innocent blood. And for the story of God's actions against Egypt, you can turn to Exodus 12:29 through 30. Well, I'm sorry, I'm getting all tongue-tied today. All right. Number 13. Why didn't God or Jesus ever specifically mention bacteria or any other things that would further scientific knowledge and possibly even convince future generation that he is the one true God? And, you know, I have to say, number 14 this is really kind of simple compared to a lot of the other questions. I know I've uh, asked some simple ones so far, but what the heck is up with that one verse in Leviticus about rabbits chewing their cud? For God's sake, people. And that verse is Leviticus 11, 3 through 6. You know, I remember hearing that verse when I was younger, and something clicked in my head, and I was like, 
you know, something's not right here, but I just kind of brushed it off. It's funny. So, and last question. Why did God create the earth if he knew he was just going to end up destroying it? And basically just see the book of Revelation for that one. Uh, yeah, in fact, why did he create us and the tree of knowledge if he knew that it was going to cause humankind, his creation, which he supposedly values so dearly, along with himself, so much pain? I really fumbled that sentence. All right, but anyway, what I'm basically asking is, is God a sadist and a masochist or something? All right, so those are my questions. Um, hoping to send them out to as many people as possible, get some differing opinions, hopefully get some law-worthy answers to some of them, and... Um, as far as certain passages concerning the treatment of people like um, specifically where slavery, rape, and genocide is concerned, I just hope that the answers don't make me want to throw a brick through someone's window. Not that I would ever do that, honest. I am all talk and no fight, believe it or not. <laughs> well, uh, so that's it for this video. Um, if you like what you saw, then please subscribe, rate, and feel free to leave a comment. I really want to hear your thoughts. And, well, that's the end of the video. Adios!